another another tip here was um I told it try to follow the UI as similarly as the other parts of the app. This was very important because I've noticed that if you just tell cursor, hey, can you go build this like feature or whatever? Sometimes you get lucky. It does kind of look like it's a part of the app, but then sometimes it just makes up a bunch of components and tries its luck. And I wanted to see, okay, what happens if I tell it to just you know follow the rest of the UI? So we ran this. Um, I did get a bunch of errors. Well, th this is the output. Um, I did get a bunch of errors and, and I did notice that there was a little cutoff here, but the only thing that I had to, um, the only thing that I manually added here was I added this chat icon just to match the other icons. So I created that, but in literally one shot with the UI, this is what it came up with. All of this is hard coded. So it hard coded this, this data. As you can see, it actually did pretty well trying to follow the, uh, the rest of what the app looked like. Like it got this purple color scheme. It really matched it with the rest of it. Um, and the other surprising thing was, um, if I just type whatever I want in here, it actually also hard coded the responses. So it actually got this animation where it kind of goes down. Um, that was actually kind of surprising. I thought I would have to go do that myself, but I guess it was it was good enough for that. 